just what we were hoping for. Just what we were hoping for on the extra, extra, extra light rod. I'm going to explain to you in a minute all about that rod and some more. So stick with me. There's a lot more to come. Probably uh, the one that holds the most line of the Ryoga series. Look at the size of that spool. I mean, super duper comfy ball bearing handles. I mean, big giant rubber knobs. Um, but this one, no control over here, no mag. What they did is they kept it really simple. And you got a centrifugal that you just dial in over here. Everything on these reels clicks. Here's the drag. This is true with every single Ryoga. Just the, the end cap comes off. All right, to reveal just the centrifugal little rollers on there and they roll around in that cup and that's that's all the adjustments that you have on the shrapnel like the jigging model they've got one that's that are all just for jigging they do nothing but the centrifugal also this is like a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio all right so this one is it's bigger, it's badder, it's, again, the Ryoga version, everything, everything clicks. It's got, I think, a 12 bearing count again, and uh, when you engage this, I mean, the thing snaps. This is a super caster, and you can see what I've been doing here, I've been throwing a giant Yozuri plug, okay? So that's the shrapnel. I stole this reel. <clears throat> These reels run close to 500 bucks or, or $500, MSRP type of thing. This reel was, I got it on eBay and it was I think 311 so I paid le I paid $200 less for this reel that's the point that I want to make to you is that you can really hunt and you can really find extreme quality tackle this is in the this is in the the category of you'll probably meet like not another person ever that has six Ryogas this is enthusiast model type reels. These are up here, okay, that everybody would love to have them, but most people won't spend the money. Well, I can tell you, every single one here, all these that I've never paid really more than 300 bucks for. Because what do I do? I get a used one or a one that's like brand new that considered used because it was taken out of the box and they put line on it, okay? I buy display models that have been in stores that just like on eBay, these will sit and people will look at them, but people will look at them in the store, but they'll never buy a, uh, you know, $450 baitcaster. They just won't do it. So these reels are for the enthusiast category type of person in which I am tackle junkie 101 right here you know 
So then we go to another one. This is called a 1016. And this is another casting version. Okay? And the casting version has, of course, that Z mag on the side. But it's small, and I rigged it up with this rod that we're going to discuss here in a second. Okay? That rod, we're going to we're going to talk about that in a minute. Okay? Again, this one's like 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, extremely fast. It's like fishing a Swiss watch. They're so smooth and and everything. I don't I'm not I don't get into the super details, I know. Um I'm more of an emotion kind of guy when it comes to how it feels to fish. It's like nothing I've ever fished before in my entire life. Okay, and I forgot one. Let me grab it right here. Now this is what they call the true Daiwa light jigging or Daiwa Ryoga light jigging. And there's, there it is, and I got this one, basically on a Shimano butterfly jigging rod. It's a little heavier. This is a 2025, probably the largest, this is the largest of the uh, Daiwa Ryogas, besides that shrapnel with the long, with the big spool. This one here is a super high speed. This is a 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. It's got the super power handle all right holds a good amount of line again centrifugal on the side here that you would just adjust this knob there's no magnets or nothing like that i mean you know when you look at these reels and i think i've said it before how many reels do you look at that i think that i think this push button is aluminum okay i think it's that way on the shrapnel too I mean, how many reels do you go and you, you look at and that the push button is like metal? I think that's metal. It sure does feel like it. So there you go. That's the true jigging model with the, with the big single power handle on it, the super high speed. And uh, that's sort of what I end up using this one for. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Ryoga Series reels to fit my every need but let's talk about rods for a second and how I put this package together this is a Wright and McGill S-curve technology Tony Roach walleye bottom bouncing rod but let me show you the reason I wanted it for casting. See that tip? See that tip? That's the reason why I wanted it. Because of the fact that when you go and you hook a fish, you've got a really light tip. And let me come around. You got a really light tip. Okay, but you got power for, for casting. See that tip, how it bends around? But look how the rest of the rod stays straight. Now in the walleye world, they might call that a bottom bouncer rod. In the Dave world, they call that big giant trout on a plug. Don't want him shake, shaking his head and shaking the plug out and using too stiff of a rod. Look at the guides on this thing. All metal. Every single one of them. All metal. Here's what's also unique. This is a rubberized cork little uh, foregrip that's a triangle. Then you get down here and you got a texturized, that soft rubber feel, tactile kind of feel, soft rubber reel seat. And then look at that grip. 
that grip is something you'd see on a golf club. So I mean, and it's soft, very soft. So this is a reel and a rod that you can cast all day long. And it's really light. And here's the kicker, folks. I'm looking at this rod on eBay. I'm looking at it. I'm actually got it up here and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about it and how nice it is and how I've never had a Wright and McGill S-curve technology rod before. And I look at this and I'm fascinated by this, this rear grip and the, the, how they talked about this, the real seat. And of course it's got an exposed spark pot spot there and these guides and I'm like, oh my God, let me check that out a little further. So I find one and it's like 70 bucks or something with $15 shipping. Well, what I do is I look at the bottom of the page on eBay and there's a Walmart ad for this rod, for this rod. So I click on it. This rod at Walmart was $44. It was 70 from a guy on eBay. So, of course, I investigated a little further. He wanted $15 shipping. I think uh, Walmart wanted five or eight or something like that. It was, like, ridiculously low shipping. The entire bill uh, with, you know, tax, shipping, and everything, I think it came to $54, $55, $54 and some change. There's another guy on YouTube who I watch, and his name's Carl. And I referred to him before because Carl is the, is the guy who got me started on my first Ryoga. He doesn't call himself a tackle enthusiast, but he is. He's a bass fisherman in New Jersey. And I always tell Carl it's his fault that I got all this because he started me out on it. But Carl did a a show and tell just like I'm kind of showing and telling you about a, an Okuma swim bait rod that he's just in love with and where did he get it walmart.com so there's a hint folks they're selling their tackle a lot cheaper and you can pick it up at the store you can do whatever you it was like delivered to me by FedEx home delivery so you got FedEx shipping, you got away from the post office, which is always a good thing. And I saved money just, just by going and looking at the bottom of the page and seeing that Walmart ad, I already saved money. I already saved money on this. That's $500 real. I, I got, I bought it supposedly, guy said, used a couple times. It looks like it's brand new. There's not a scratch on it. And I got it for $200 right off the get-go, cheaper. $200 cheaper. All right. So what does that enable you to do if you're a tackle junkie enthusiast? Well, you saw me catch the redfish, right? I've taken vertical jigging now to the utmost extreme that I could possibly take it. This little... That is smaller than a pencil, folks. That is smaller than a pencil. Beautiful, uh, what they call those anti-tangle um, Fuji K guides, I think they call these. This is a true carbon fiber jigging rod, and it's called a wiki rod. Okay? And it is actually, this model is called the Ocean Fire Red. Ocean Fire. And what this rod is, the classification for this rod is an extra, extra, extra ultra light. So matched up with my little water bug jig, okay, a Ryoga 1016, small, compact, high speed gear ratio, 
the smoothest drag I've ever seen. And the funny thing is, is when the drag pulls, listen. It even clicks when the, when the drag pays out. So what I did with this one is it didn't come with this power handle, but I put the power handle on it. Because now this reel has a special place. It's the micro jigging rod. And you saw, you do not need this monster tackle, these heavy rods, these heavy reels, to catch a redfish. You just don't need it. That is the complete system that I have taken months to work on here where I am all Daiwa Ryoga matched up to certain rods to do certain things. Um, yeah, these are switchable, but you know, hey, I'm, if this is going to be my, my light plug-in rod, I'm always going to have a probably a light plug on it. Um, when it comes to this one, this might do a little extra double duty just because I want to fish it. It's just, I won't use it just for throwing monster, uh, you know, uh, plugs, but that's what I got it for. I might put a, a jig on this and jig the jetties or something, okay? So, the secret is, if you're looking for a rod, you're looking for a certain type of rod, don't forget, check walmart.com. I scan eBay probably every single day for a couple hours. I mean, it's entertaining for me because I like to just look for the deals. How do you think I stumbled upon this and saved $200 right off the bat? It, was a, it wasn't a buy now, it was an auction. But I knew how to bid and I knew what the landscape was like when it came to these reels because I've been watching. And the Ryoga, if you're looking for it up here, out of this world reel, out of this world, you want to probably check out the Daiwa Ryoga. They're, they're not available in the United States. You have to import them from Japan, Taiwan, Vietnam, someplace over there where they're getting their hands on them. So, I just wanted to show you a collection of my personal tackle, pass on a few tips to you. There's a tip of how to get your rod that you're probably looking for cheaper than anywhere else with really cheap shipping. And keep a watch out for this on my videos. Ultra light catching big fish. That redfish that I caught was a 30 incher that makes him anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds. And this little tiny rod, little 20 pound test, little 20 pound leader, and a little micro jig with a one-aught hook. Right up in the jetties. Whooped him like it was no tomorrow. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed just looking at Dave's private collection. And I'll see you later. Keep an eye out for this, baby. Because I am going to be wearing it right. out. Nice, 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 nice. Another oversized red. You don't know yet. I'm letting them go. Oversized redfish. Daiwa. Ryoga. Ocean fire. Wiki rod. Too much fun, man. Too much fun.